I'm making a cover for a vinyl record player. The cover's made out of this pretty thick upholstery grade vinyl. And without a walking foot sewing machine, vinyl can be a little bit tricky to sew. They make a Teflon foot for a lot of machines that helps the vinyl slide underneath the presser foot of the machine a little bit easier, but I don't happen to have one. Today's Sunday and most of the stores that I might be able to get something locally from are closed. So I thought I'd share a tip that a lot of people may not be aware of if you have uh, a project that you want to do out of vinyl and it's not worth going and spending much money on a, on a foot or a new sewing machine, you know, just to do a project or two. This is my general purpose foot for one of my sewing machines and at the uh, big box name brand fa fabric store that you have in your town probably they sell these little uh, plastic stick-on strips and they're just two strips that adhere to the bottom of the foot and allow you to sew vinyl a little bit better it probably doesn't work as well as a teflon foot and certainly not as good as a walking foot machine uh, but it definitely makes an improvement I'll, uh, I'll show you. This is without the strips adhered to the foot and I have my machine set for its longest stitch length which should yield a stitch of about four millimeters. The strips that I bought aren't made for this foot specifically, but I've used them before and they work just fine. And now with the strips adhered to the foot, we'll see if it makes any difference. So if you're just doing a uh, project with some vinyl or leather and you don't want to spend more money on a Teflon foot or, or buy a new machine, this might be a trick that can help you get your project done. I noticed that the strips that I put on the first time seemed to lose their effectiveness after some time had passed, so be prepared to change them out if you find that you're starting to lose consistency with your stitch length. Thanks for watching.